Well, another day and hopefully another dollar. You've probably heard that phrase uh, since you were probably 16 and older, when you had to maybe get your first job at McDonald's or what's in Canada or Philippines. How about my friends in Spain or South Korea? Uh, you know, here in America, most of us, when we're like a teenager, your parents are like, go get a job. And then we all go to McDonald's and flip hamburgers for like one month, three months, maybe a year. And then we realize, man, jobs suck. And then after that, maybe pizza, gas stations, Walmart. Walmart's a popular job when you're first starting out. Uh, but Walmart, it's a popular job now for any age, isn't it? So, uh, J-O-B, job. I don't know what the heck that even means. Be a jobber. I've always heard that. Um, someone would always go, you know, you're, you're just a jobber. Uh, I heard that, you know, in the 70s, 80s, 90s. Um, I, I don't know if that's supposed to be a, a bad thing, but I'm like, yeah, I got a job. And to those people that say, hey, you're just a jobber, uh, they're miserable. They're miserable as hell. That's why they say it. Um, all of us have to have jobs sooner or later, unless we inherit something or maybe win Powerball. But I think just about in any country, you've got to do something to earn money to pay for things. Okay? Uh, I heard back in the old days, a million trillion years ago, that uh, people used to trade animals like piggies and cows and, and things because you, you had to munch on the darn things. And... I don't know how currency or money or, you know, a paper, a piece of paper. Here's a piece of paper. <laughs> the, this can, it could be a hundred dollar bill and I could walk outside and go buy a tank of gas or a bunch of pizza or maybe, well, the way that um, concert shirts are for a hundred bucks, I could probably buy half of this t-shirt. But whoever invented money, dang you. Because <laughs> when you, by the time I was, well, I actually started working almost full-time by 15. By 16, I had it all figured out through high school. And, and I'm sure you guys have had jobs and careers, hopefully, uh, where you earn money doing what you love. That is something I wish they would teach in ninth grade, 10th, 11th, and 12th. Now, here in America, those are the last years that you're in high school. And hopefully by uh, by 12th grade, you know kind of what you want to do. But most of my friends didn't. They wanted to go where the co colleges have the hottest babes and the best parties, like Arizona State, Dixie, and St. George, Miami. I'm, I mean, there's always, uh, Boise, there's always, you know, colleges like, where's the best parties? I mean, the education is probably the same, right? But you know what, if it's after hours or if it's the weekend, I don't want to be stuck in a little town that's boring. I want to go where the parties are. So they're like, how about Arizona State? <laughs> so, but you can get a good education there. But if you don't have a scholarship, you know, usually you got to spend a whole bunch of money. Could be 10, 20, 50, 100,000. If you want to be a doctor, lawyer, that's a calling. That's an, that's unbelievable because usually you know you want to be, let's say, a doctor or in medicine, probably even in high school. Because by the time you get out, it's, it's a calling. It's not even about the money. It is a career. It's, it's unbelievable. But boy, when you're that focused, that's awesome. When I got out of high school, man, I had my son. I was all over the place. And just one day, I, 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 I kind of hit rock bottom. And I love entertainment. And lo and behold, uh, I got into radio, FM broadcasting. And from there, the last 35 years, I've been in and out. I'll do 5, 10 years. Then I'll, it's not that I get bored or fired or something. And then you go and do other things and come back. But if I had to pick one thing that I'm real proud of, is it's just... I got into broadcasting. It brought me out of my shell. It made me pretty comfortable on camera. Uh, you can probably tell I've, I've done this uh, once or twice. Just sit here and talk to you fine folks. Uh, but if I had to kind of pick one thing, I as far as job, not my kids and family and or buying a couch or a big screen TV, but if I had to pick something that I'm proud of, it's that I, I kind of made a decision with no training whatsoever to go and try to be a radio DJ in a town with a million people. So when I started in radio, I had over 1.8 million people able to listen to me. Normally you start in a little town and then you work your way up, but I'm like, nope, I'm in Salt Lake. I'm going for the, it's about the 27th biggest city in America. And I'm like, nah, nope. Come on, man. If you're going to be a bear, be a grizzly. Arr, yeah, that's right, man. So, and I don't regret it at all. A lot of nerves and scared and 
ch chicken. Ooh, boy, I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? But man, what what have you guys done that you're kind of proud of? It might not even be work-wise, but have you guys, you know, listening right now, have you done anything that you, like maybe you went para, what's it called? Parachuting, skydiving. Uh, I do that. I'll go with you. I think it's fun. Uh, did you guys learn how to ride a motorcycle? Did you guys do something bold like you hiked one of the biggest mountains in the world or maybe just a hill in your backyard? Or did you dare to be a cosmetologist, a gynecologist, maybe a photographer, maybe a gynecologist that takes photographs at the Playboy Mansion? I mean, that's probably something I would have probably done if I would have thought about it. Now that I'm almost 60, it figures Playboy Mansion's gone and I'm probably a little too long uh, in the in the tooth. A little too long in the tooth. That means you're getting up in age. Once you have this silver uh, effect, it means you got a little bit of wisdom and a big giant forehead. I used to have massive, massive amounts of hair. And it's falling out every day. Oh, man, boo-hoo. But when it comes down to live good, this is what I like about it. If you, you've had a career, or maybe you're too old to do what your career entailed, Maybe you're brand new out of the box. If you're in high school, you know how jealous I am right now if you're watching this video. Do you realize, man, if you can start in a company like this, let's say 18, you graduate and you get into Live Good. <laughs> I'm telling you what, with the way that kids can do social media and post and be interesting, I am not shocked every time I'm on Instagram or social media, there's another kid in a Lamborghini or messing off or blowing stuff up like... Uh, like Mr. Beast or all these other uh, great companies. I, I live just down the street of, of a company that's all over Instagram. They give away one Lamborghini every couple months. Okay. And just check it out. It's amazing. I, I think if you just type in Lamborghini giveaway 808, you'll see. They're always driving up and down a street that I live on. You know, they got purple Lamborghinis and blue and boy, they're, and they're, it's a younger, uh, it's a younger company. I mean, the oldest guy looks like he's probably 30. But the average is probably 25 to 30, 30-ish. And how cool. They made a decision and it's paying off, you know, where you just buy T-shirts and a bunch of merchandise. And I'm assuming that they make well over two to 400,000 every two months because that's what they're giving away. And they even get given away, they give away 60,000 cash with the Lamborghini because you have to pay tax on it. And then most people keep it a month and then they sell it. But still, someone made a decision that like, let's try it. And what have you guys uh, done? To, do, do you want to put something maybe below the video? Oh, I love I love the journey. I love when people just sit down and they get sick and tired of being sick and tired. And they just make a decision. And all of a sudden they just, they do it and they don't, I, who cares what people think? If I fail, wah. Nothing's worse than being my age. And I go back 40 years ago and if I didn't have the guts to walk in and, and meet some people and sit down and practice talking, listening to the radio and seeing what DJs actually really do. Um, I'd be so bummed out, you guys, because I can't get those 40 years back. And maybe you guys can. Okay? Uh, if you guys are my age, you know what I'm talking about. But boy, if you're young right now, man, dare to dream. And if you're looking at Live Good, hit it full throttle. Trust me. I definitely know about timing when it comes to radio, nightclub ownership, especially when it comes to businesses like this. My buddies, uh, they formed a company called New Skin. And I, I didn't participate in it. I'm just not an MLM guy, even though this company can, can be uh, obviously compared and similar. But boy, if I would have just hung out with them and probably grew my downline back in 86 to 88 and then hung in there 88 to 95, I have no doubt I'd probably have a, a lot of cars hanging on my wall. Real. <laughs> but I don't regret that because I didn't do what I didn't believe in. I'm not into MLMs like that. And I'm still not. But I love this company because it pays like one. But you don't have to buy products to attain that, 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 that moolah in your pocket. And I like that. I can go to bed at night knowing that if you invest $49.95 right now, that if you lose interest in Live Good, that you only lose $49.95. And time. Time's valuable too. Okay? So for $9.95, you can come aboard. For $40, you're an affiliate. We can sit down and figure things out. And you can make pay... What a surgeon can do, there's plenty of people that make $20,000 a month right now in Live Good, and we're only on our seventh month, going on month number eight. And that's awesome, isn't it? And most don't have like this Harvard degree, or they're not like retired uh, uh, real estate people that have downlines and massive amounts of book sales, or maybe uh, 
maybe some type of fame. There, there is someone that's a fighter. Uh, she's pretty famous. Uh, she's doing really well. And there is a talk show host, a radio talk show host that talks about financial advice. And he's our number one guy in our company as far as signups. But our number one guy is in a wheelchair. He was homeless eight months ago. He's by far our number one guy. It's called Crown Diamond. They invented the rank just for him. And uh, it's an awesome story. But he still is homeless. He doesn't want to buy a house yet. He just wants to live in a hotel and focus on the company. And he's getting therapy for his legs. And he is in a wheelchair. And believe me, the, the level playing field is was not level for him. It, it's hard enough for him to go up curbs and sidewalks and stairs, let alone just a flat surface that all of us, most of us that are healthy have. So uh, I love Live Good. It's so fun. It's so satisfying to be in a company like this. And boy, I, I hope you're, I hope you're really deciding to join. I, I think you're really going to have a good time. So join Corey.com. That's the link below this video. Just click it. Watch a six minute video of our CEO, Ben, and make a decision. I think if you've watched the video this long, you're, you're almost there. You got your feet in the water. It's, it's deep. It's warm. Now just dive in and cool off. Okay. So, all right. Uh, hope to see you on the other side, like they always say. And that means in my back office, I live good. If you join, I'll get an email uh, telling me that you climbed aboard, okay? All right, kiddos, you guys have a good one. And I'm going to go get me a drink in my Kiss t-shirt. Life is good. Okay, guys, we'll talk to you next video. And subscribe to my channel if you don't mind. Thanks a lot. Bye.